Lewis is about to cash in on a historic influx of funds from the Ram settlement. Now the discussion is taking shape over what to do with the money, so aldermen are looking at roughly two dozen options. But more may come as the city survey asks for your input. Right now, you only have a little less than six hours left to participate. Our Nathan Vickers is downtown tonight and is looking at the possible avenues for a different future thanks to that Rams money. Nathan. That's right. And right now you can still go and find that survey on your phone or laptop. You can still fill it out. And the Board of Aldermen has been pretty pleased with the way people have engaged with this. Today we talked to someone who's been helping to spread the word. It's a process Malik Lindell has been excited about from the beginning. I think it's a really good opportunity for our city to really make a change. The discussion over what to do with the $280 million influx of cash from the RAM settlement. This is unique for St. Louis because it is a chance for citizens to engage in a democratic process. Lindell authored some of the proposals that are now part of the city's online survey. His ideas focus on improving bike and pedestrian infrastructure. You really need to decide that as a city, we want to prioritize the safety of pedestrians, cyclists. We want to make transit more accessible. All in all, the 20 proposals range from improving water infrastructure to developing areas like the North Riverfront or measures to address abandoned properties. We're super excited for the feedback that we are getting. Today, Aldermanic President Megan Green said they'd had 15,000 people register so far. While that might not sound like much, it's a larger turnout than some municipal elections. We'll be able to inform our committee of the whole meetings going forward on what topic areas we need to do a little bit more of a deep dive into. Green and others have not said what they'd like to see the money spent on. They say the survey results will help them narrow their focus as discussions continue. Often we have leaders who make decisions, but we want to make sure that we make decisions with committee community and not for community. Bill says regardless of his proposals. Definitely encouraged a lot of my friends, co-workers, uh, organizations to get involved. The most important part of the process is taking part in the discussion. Encourage all people to get engaged, not just for the ideas that I support, but just get engaged generally. And in the coming weeks, the Board of Aldermen will start reviewing those survey results. This spring, they'll be vetting the survey uh, questions that had the most votes. Reporting live, Nathan Vickers, First Alert 4. And Nathan, before we let you go here, was there any more discussion today about creating a municipal endowment fund that would basically put the money into a savings account to generate interest and more revenue for the city? Yeah, that's been a part of this discussion uh, throughout the, the Rams uh, settlement um, discourse uh, that is coming back into play on February 15th, where the Board of Aldermen will meet again in a committee of a whole to discuss that option specifically. All right, Nathan, reporting live for us in the city of St. Louis tonight, something we'll follow.